Hello, my name is Kevin Link. I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer, and today I'd like to show you how to replace imported bodies in a part file without losing features you've created after importing the model. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up an IGIS file I have here of some glasses. As we import the model, let's use import diagnostics to make sure there aren't any faulty faces. So go ahead and click yes here. Looks like there are a few faces. I'll attempt to heal all and the import diagnostics wizard does a good job of fixing those up. As far as feature recognition, we won't worry about that. So I'll just click no. Taking a look at our model here, um, you know, we can show the edges if we want to see more detail. And we can see that it's made up of several different imported bodies. Now the first thing I want to do is create a plane here right in the middle. If I collect the two outside parallel sides, I get a mid plane right in the middle. That's going to help me locate a sketch here. Next thing I want to do is create a sketch on the front plane and import a block that includes my company's logo. So we got the Go Engineer logo here um, in my file set. I've created a block there so I can scale this to whatever project I need. Let's scale this down to uh, 0.015 or so. And I'm going to snap it so that it uh, lines up directly in the center of my sunglasses. From here, I'm going to take my sketch and extrude a cut from the front face. Um, a plane doesn't line up exactly, so I'll offset this um, a distance so that I can make the cut intersect the front part of the model. And it's something like this. All right, we'll go ahead and accept that cut and hide this plane here to clean up our graphics area. Now, the next thing I want to do is take all these separate solid bodies and actually combine them together to create a single solid body. So after using our combine feature, you check our tree and see you've got one solid body. Now what happens if uh, we have our supplier who's giving us these imported files says we've made a change to the front portion, we actually made it larger. Now when we try to edit the feature, we get a message that uh, changing that could ruin some of the features we've added. We'll browse to the new size, click import, and then we can see that it's replaced that imported feature, but because we edited the import feature in the tree, our other features such as the cut extrude and combine were not affected. I hope that was a useful tip for you. Once again, my name is Kevin Link. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.